Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, it's good to see you all today, and uh, you're going to enjoy joining us again for my partner, John Coleman, and our favorite philosopher, Bill Jordan. <laughs> that's, just cause, that's just because Socrates and Plato ain't around anymore. Well, they are actually, we actually had Plato on three weeks ago. You're still, <laughs> our, favorite, you're still our favorite philosopher. All right, guys, I'm getting old enough, so it doesn't sound like Plato with a T. It sounds like Play Doh. Play Doh. Love me some Play Doh, man. Oh, yeah. I can did, still did smell I it. Not say, I can smell did it. I not say Play Doh? Play Doh. Uh, hey, Bill, uh, speaking of getting old, we're all <laughs> semi retired. Yes. As as are many, many baby boomers. Uh, and, and it's interesting because uh, you still are working. You retired as a, a DJ on a radio station many years and chose not to quit, not to quote, retire fully. You still got a voiceover business. Yeah. Bill Jordan voiceover, Bill Jordan, VO.com is my website and my demos are on there and stuff like that. And uh, it's not, you know, it's not a living it's a revenue stream for me in addition to my IRA and some other stuff that might be coming in. Um, uh, I was with a company, my last company I was with in an almost, well, over 40 year radio career. Um, for the last 20 plus years, it was one of those companies that was very generous as far as 401k and employee matching and all this good stuff. Prior to that, I had never worked anywhere that had anything close to that. So I was at least smart enough, while I never was smart enough to maximize my employee input, um, I was smart enough to, at the end of the year, let my, my bonuses and stuff roll back into that. And at the end of 20 plus years, it was a, a tidy sum. You know, I, at some point the money will run out, but right now I'm doing okay. And I'm old enough now for social security, so I get my social security check every month. So the voiceover stuff is a, it is a revenue stream and it's pretty handy at times. Sometimes there are some months that it is a living, and but you just never know. I, I have a couple of automotive groups that I do spots for. It might be a narration. There's a, I just did one yesterday for, uh, just came in out of the blue, a narration for uh, the town in which I live. They've got a corporate bond issue coming up and they needed a, a narration for that. Um, it's 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 kind of an interesting job because you don't know what you're going to get. It might be a narration, it might be a commercial, it might be a a healthcare thing, which is kind of maybe a laid back, more more mature approach, or you might be selling Ford F-150s, in which case I'm kind of yelling. So <laughs> it's kind of a cool thing, and it, and it's like we've talked about before with this whole so, um, semi uh, retired thing. It's not like you're going into work every day and answering to, oft times numerous people you know, trying to keep everybody happy. So it's not like you do the voiceover job and then somebody calls you into their office to talk about how you could have done it better. Yeah. Well, you know, you know the, the Art and I are in the same boat. We're semi-retired. We're obviously uh, uh, busy, quite frankly, with uh, uh, celebrating Act Two. But I think it's a common thing. I We have a lot of friends who do the same thing. Whatever their whatever their job is in retirement, it's it's not necessarily for the money, it's for the activity. I don't know what it is. It's it's for their head. It's, it's sure. working in retirement yeah. is really whether, good. Whether or not you're getting paid or not. Right. Uh, if you're in an activity uh, and not just playing golf or, or uh, not that the, uh, playing golf is a bad thing to do or uh, uh, doing a sculpture or some other artistic position, but there are people who go volunteer in hospitals and sure. some who, who put a significant amount of time into volunteer work and they are in fact working. They may not be getting paid in their soul, not in dollars and cents, sure. uh, uh, by the way. So, uh, but you, you have what I think is a very typical uh, activity, which is uh, earning some money uh, in a, a pursuit because you just don't want to be totally out of the game. You would, there's a satisfaction in being able to be productive, uh, but like you say, on your own terms. Yeah, I mean, being still being able to be um, relative. And, and, yes. and what, you, what we're talking about initially really is it, it gives you a purpose. You know, it gives you still a purpose in life. 
So yeah. I still like to help people. If I can help people or to to narrate a commercial or, or some sort of industrial video or something like that, it helps them. They If they like what I do and we've worked together before, we've built relationships, just because we are where we are in life does not mean that you can still or don't won't necessarily still initiate and foster and grow relationships. That is, that's the biggest thing in life that I have learned. It's not the stuff. And it was always the journey too when I, when I was in radio. When I was the most successful money-wise, those were not necessarily my favorite years in the business. My favorite years in the business was when I was a sponge and I was learning everything and I was just, you know, couldn't get enough. And we had this band of brothers and sisters who were trying to help each other get better. At the end, it was just a lot of pressure. Every day, it was just more and more pressure. So now in semi-retirement, yeah, you kind of get to do what you want to do. You do it out of a passion. Uh, if it makes a little money, so be it. Um, but I mean... I, I can't imagine just sitting around watching, uh, you know, NCIS reruns on USA Network every day. That I just, yeah. you, you know, know what I, I think I is still, also I will still, I will still do it for pun occasion, but, but, but to have something to do, uh, and to have people count on you and depend on you, uh, that's some real fuel as we get older, I believe. Now, yeah. I think one of the perfect examples of uh, the, the quasi uh, doing something very productive and meaningful is uh, your entire embrace the blue movement. Uh, that you've created, uh, things that are, that are important to you, but are important to other people as well. And I know that you have thousands of followers on your uh, Facebook page, and people enjoy listening to you uh, on your journey of semi-retirement and of thinking back to things that, as you've fully admitted many times, never gave much thought to uh, in your uh, 40s, 50s, uh, uh, up until the time that you semi-retired, you began to uh, to uh, coin a phrase or borrow from a phrase, wax philosophic. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, to I, a lot I, of people, I, I, it's comforting, and they like like to tune in to either your Facebook page or these episodes, and uh, say, you know what, there are things I can do with my life uh, that I haven't done before, and it's okay that I didn't pay attention before. And look at Bill, because he's. He's made a he's made a, a like a little industry of of uh, embracing uh, the boom. Well, why don't we why don't, why don't I we appreciate do that. that? Why don't we I embrace the boom? Here we go. Bill Jordan, embrace the boom dot com. If you're interested in getting one of these mugs, and when I say that, I mean for me, I, I start my day with some very strong coffee that I brew here at home. But this mug, just the words "embrace the boom," just remind me. It's just an anchor for my day to live the best life I'm capable of living. And, you know, I saw a great quote the other day, to be lazy is disrespectful for those who believe in you. And Ooh, that, that's good, man, that hit me so hard. So try to get something done every day. Take care of yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, all part of embracing the boom. Live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom. There you go. Simple. Always good advice. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.